Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. In this session, we will see how to find out the roots of a quadratic equation when absolute value or modulus is involved there. So we have to find out the roots of this quadratic equation where we have absolute value of y square minus absolute value of y minus 12 equal to 0. Now first we will see, we will try to understand what is absolute value of a particular variable that's nothing absolute value of y equal to y if y is greater than 0 that means if it's positive I take the positive value if it is negative I will take the positive value that means I'll take negative of negative value so if y is less than 0 then in absolute of val value of y will be nothing but equal to minus of y y which is already negative so it will again will become positive so absolute value of a variable will always return you the positive value so we will have two scenarios here now the first scenario will have absolute y is less than 0 and in the second scenario we will have y greater than 0 now let's write down what is given to us given to us absolute value of y square minus absolute value minus 12 equal to 0 now you know that when y is less than 0 y will be negative but when you square it it will be positive so positive of absolute value of positive is value is nothing but equal to positive only can I write it as y square minus of we know y is less than 0 so absolute value will return me minus of y and minus 12 equal to 0 which is nothing but equal to y square plus y minus 12 equal to 0 which is nothing but equal to splitting middle terms y plus 4 into y minus 3 equal to 0 which will give you y equal to minus 4 we won't consider y equal to 3 because we are interested now only with y less than 0 so y equal to minus 4 so minus 4 if you substitute minus 4 whole square is 16 so that is 16 minus of minus 4 absolute value of y will give me minus of it absolute value is nothing but equal to gives me minus of y so that will be plus 4 then I have 12 that is 16 minus 4 12 minus 12 equal to 0 so we can see that minus 4 is one solution so let's go back to the next case where we say that y equal to greater than 0 in this case the quadratic equation will be y square minus of y minus 12 equal to 0 because y is greater than 0 absolute value will be equal to y and absolute value of any positive value is again that only so it will be y square now again we do splitting middle terms here we will get y minus 4 into y plus 3 is equal to 0 that means y value is equal to 4 we won't consider the negative value because we are looking at only y greater than 0 so the two values which will solution or roots of this particular quadratic equation are plus or minus 4 if you put 4 you will have 16 16 minus 4 minus 12 equal to 0 this is coming from y equal to 4 if you put y equal to minus 4 it will be nothing but 16 minus of again minus of minus 4 that is 4 only and I will have minus 12 that is also equal to 0 so the roots of y square roots of absolute value of y square minus absolute value of y minus 12 equal to 0 are plus or minus 4 